All right. Now you stay here. I'm going to go move to White Pond like we talked about, right? We'll do the exercise now. What building are you in? Drop down. And what's what's it called on the map? It's not Bishop, is it? It is. No. is it so bishop? on this side of the map, there's Bishop in the ponds, right? So think of it like this. The bishops that are black or the, the ones over here that are black are the dangerous buildings. So this is black pond, mark building, and that's black bishop, which is the dangerous one. White bishop is a medical place and it's generally safer, right? So think of black as PVP zones, all right? On this side anyways. Right. So it's black bishop and black pond, all right. I've reached white pond now. Are you ready to start? Uh, sure. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna loot this like normal and not be looking out for you. But you try to come in here and find me, knowing I'm in here, pretending like you see me or something. And pay attention to when you can see me too, or hear me. I hear you. Fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> Stop. Where are you at? I stopped. I'm outside. Oh. My fish okay. Hold on. Never mind. That was a scab. Continue. Continue. Where, where are you right now? Outside White Bishop? Yeah. We're pretty much <laughs> where we were in through. The okay. path where we ran through. All right. Well, keep going then. I'm going to keep going. It was a scab sneaking up to my building. You thought I heard you over there, motherfucker? You're on the other side of the map! I was like, what? <laughs> Slow walking? You heard me? You'd have so fucking much PTSD about Tarkov from this day on, bro. That was real. <laughs> I, I would never. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> bro, there's really no point to ratting. Let me tell you. Uh, the raids are going good, Tosi. I'm just hanging with my friend here and then about to start a, a Sherpa raid with a uh, student here. Probably the next 10 minutes or so. But we're just doing a an example of audio and how how realistic it is in practice to see if he can sneak up on me while I'm just looting and when I can hear him or not. Interesting to me as well. Because I'm a good example for it because I have really perceptions, so... If anyone's going to hear anything, it's going to be me out of all the Tarkov players you could come across. I'm also like an elephant. Did you kill the scav behind the building, just wondering? It's on the corner, in between this and Mark's. No, there's like a dead body outside the back of the building. Well, there's other players here. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Oh, that's an AI. That's a, that's a fucking a static spawn, uh, bro. Okay, I know that body was there. Hey Tenko, what's up bro? I can hear you by the way. That's good. So now I, I haven't heard you at all. I'm uh so just be aware that's what you sound like when you're in here. Keep going. I'll let you know when I hear you. Try to locate where I'm at and stuff.
Oh, that's long, huh? Oh, oh yeah. shit. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that at all. So I didn't hear you at all. But you could hear me pretty good the whole time, right? Yeah. I think a lot of reason why I couldn't hear you is not only because you're going very slow, but because I would never have had audio on you until you got slightly more up the stairs. So that was like, right. that would have been the perfect fucking time for you to come across me. Now come stand over where I'm at. I'll show you what I mean, right? Now I'm going to go down the stairs, so listen for the audio, right? It's gone, right? Holy shit. And now I'm coming up. Then I hear, yeah, like, what the fuck? Tell me when you... Well, come come over here, and you look for yourself. Watch when the audio leaves. Remember, this is the vertical audio I'm talking about. Right. Right here. Right? Right, right, right here. Get, like, towards the bottom of the stairs. As soon as you leave the vertical level of it, you can't hear shit, right? No, but now listen to this. You can hear that, eh? Yeah. See, this is what I was teaching you that day in the building. Remember? Right. With the, st with the stairs game? Mm hmm Yeah. Crazy, ain't it? That so, is. this whole time, quite honestly... So, now go back to where you were. Go back to the scav. <laughs> And then, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be here again, and now try instead of bigger. crab walking, try coming at me normal, and I'll tell you when I can hear you, and you're gonna see the lack of difference, essentially, okay? Okay. And this is why I don't play this game like a rat. <laughs> Summed up right here in this experiment. I'm actually very curious about this. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna stand in the middle of the room, and I'm not gonna move this time. I hear you. Yeah, I'm already here at this point. Is this... Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I see that bullet come through. That shit's almost hit you in the head. Talk about timing. Hey, but so oh, your your stealth, your stealth was the exact same, no matter what speed you came at, because of the right. vert verticality of audio. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that is. That's actually that's huge to know. Yeah. So why the fuck are you crab walking in this game, right? I, I, I don't know. There's not many... Oh, no, someone's coming. Oh, it's a fucking scab. There's uh, only certain times to use crab walking, and that's when you want to stack the deck in your favor. Right. Because remember how I told you that audio is the start of a battle, right? Right. So... Go to that corner of the room over there. This one? Yeah. All right. Now, try and locate where I'm at. They go. They go looking for you. Yeah. Okay. Am I trying to do, like stealthily or like quickly? I'm trying to kill you. Just think about that. Okay. You're dead. <laughs> but I could have pre-fired you, right? Now right. go back go back to the same spot. Alright. Alright. Now try to find me again. I, I saw you. I was, I was waiting for you to swing. Yeah, around. yeah, but get a shot on. So that's that's the two styles and there's different times to employ them on people though. You know what I mean? Right. Because yeah. technically, even though it's hard to simulate exercise, I got the drop on you both times because you had to adjust to where I was, but I knew where you were. So the first example, I was being super quiet, which meant that I had the positional advantage and the surprise advantage and 
when you know someone's there and they're quiet like that, you making that much more noise could have gotten you shot through these nettings. This is just cloth. So I could have right. killed you while being quiet, while you had to search and pinpoint me. The thing to do in that scenario is to get me to move and make an obvious noise with some sprinting with a grenade or something, instead yeah, of yeah, blindly like checking around. To try and just yeah. Now, okay. the second example is what I like to do better, because it's very confusing and scary, and often bait shots. Like, you saw me that one time, right? But would you have been able to get a kill shot on me? No. Not not guaranteed exactly, not guaranteed. but you might have you might have blown some of your ammo and then allowed me to get the advantage over you, and then as well as my elite straight gives me movement speed bonuses, so I use that to my advantage. And then while I predicted that you were going this way, when I crossed over here, I free looked you, and then I quickly pushed this to get a right side peek on you as you were repositioning. So I would have already come out with peeker's advantage on you with the strong side peek, right. and knowing where you were where where you were. But you can't do that if you're crabbing, you know. So, two different approaches for two different styles. I would recommend the fastest approach in a, in a combat environment like this, where your bullets go through. There's no cover here, you know? Uh, or I would recommend sticking to crabbing the whole time and then shooting him through one of these tents on his audio. But it takes experience right. to know which one to use when, right? Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's, that's just probably going to have to learn to know when. This is like yeah. game sense. Yeah. That's why you'll see I usually head loudly in places and then i go slow and i stealth and i listen for any change anybody reacting or anybody panicking about it and then i'll go loud again to get the peekers advantage of the movement bonus so i don't get surprised by someone who's just sitting in a corner like you can both just be sitting there listening for forever right that's not going to change anything and it's going to waste right. my time so and then when i hear someone i go quiet again until i get audio confirmation of their location and then aggressively attack basically but a lot of right. people, they think, oh, you're just rushing in and stuff. Not really. It's hard as a new player to really comprehend it until you get the map knowledge. But I know where they're at. When I attack someone, I already know where they're at or I would have waited a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't really yeah. just go into stuff. I, I, I know where they're at in my head because of a mental picture of the audio.